this is why you haven't married her. Did you guys really have a disagreement? Uh, Who says housewives are afraid to throw down? We've been gone for 10 seconds. This happened already? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 real housewives fights. For this list, we've picked the most outrageous fights that happened during filming. So reunion fights like Portia dragging Kenya by the hair are not eligible. We're also keeping to fights between the women, so family fights like the Gorgas versus the Judices at the christening and the Lake George retreat are not eligible. No! 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 Neither are fights like the pillow talk party between Brandon and Apollo that got the whole group fighting. Number 10, Nini versus Claudia, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Who the you? My husband me, oh, really? The husband that you wish Your you husband. had. Sometimes housewives like to step in on fights that don't even involve them as was the case with Nene here. Why are you talking to Phaedra? Talk to Demetra or talk to them both. You I were not there. Phaedra, Only me, Demetra, and Phaedra were there. During a chaotic trip to Puerto Rico, Demetria and Phaedra were engaged in a catty back and forth exchange. Claudia did her best to mediate the disagreement when out of nowhere, a disgruntled Nene stepped in and started firing cheap shots at Claudia. Attention everybody, Nene has left the building. I usher in. Nene! Claudia was able to hold her own against the notorious housewife when Nene, fresh out of good comebacks, questioned her sex life and said the infamous words, Your clit has left your body. We're all still scratching our heads over that one. Number 9. Lisa R. versus Kim. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I had, I've been very open about talking about Kim and, and trying to help her. Every time the housewives go on a trip, there's drama. This time, the Beverly Hills ladies were visiting Amsterdam to meet Yolanda's family. It was anything but nice when Kim and Lisa Rena got in a heated discussion at dinner about Kim's sobriety. And you two asking where, I, where I've gone to treatment, do I have a sponsor? The fight quickly escalates as Kim confronts Lisa for gossiping about her drinking and recovery. I only meant to help. Things take a turn for the crazy when Kim threatens Lisa R about some unsaid rumor about Lisa's husband, actor Harry Hamlin. Just ever don't touch just my say. husband, just ever. Say. The mention of Harry's name sends Lisa R into a rage, and she slams a wine glass on the table, sending shards Kim's way. Everybody will know. You understand that? Number 8. Sheree versus Anthony the Party Planner, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Every time I bring up concerns about the party to Anthony, I get attitude. No one comes for Sheree Whitfield without suffering the consequences. I would love to come in on a helicopter. Sheree gets upset since she hasn't been in contact with the poet who's been hired to recite a poem about her at her big party. She then confronts Anthony, her party planner, about not doing his job well. Anthony promised a helicopter, and it's not happening now. And he won't even own up to the fact that he screwed up. Anthony fires back at Sheree that she has unrealistic expectations, which does not sit well with her. Sheree fires back one of the most iconic housewives' catchphrases, Who gon' check me, boo? No one, Sheree. No one. Who gon' check me, boo? <laughs> I have. Anyway. Number seven. Adriana versus Joanna, the Real Housewives of Miami. You'd be wrong if you thought the short-lived Miami wasn't packed with drama. This fight starts when Adriana is being catty towards Karen at a lingerie party. You called us classless never, fame addicts. Never, we will go I talk. never said that. That's but what I'm trying wait. to tell you. A tipsy Joanna is on the sidelines of the fight when she decides to defend Karen. Not wanting to get into it, Adriana tries to leave, but Joanna follows her. Bad move on Joanna's part, since Adriana turns around and sucker punches her right in the face. From that moment on, I just see red, and next thing I know... In Adriana's defense, Joanna did grab at her hair, but no one was expecting a boxing match. For the first time in my life, I see the devil, and what did the devil do? Turn around and punch me. Number 6. Kyle and Kim versus Brandy. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Did you really say that my what? friend Kyle's a bitch? Because she's not a bitch. You first was a little joke. Housewife fights seem to escalate from zero to 100 real quick. And this one is no exception. You know what? You, you know what? No clue you what you're talking about. A goddamn around. bitch. You know that? Bring it. During a supposedly friendly game of charades, Kyle makes a dumb blonde joke about Brandy. She said IQ test you first, like blonde first. That's a bitchy thing. Hello, everybody in the room is all blonde blondes and I dye my hair. I don't mean to be rude, but you're all blondes except me. The sisters and Brandy have never gotten along, and earlier that night they stole one of Brandy's crutches. Not willing to let things go, Brandley calls Kyle a bitch. 
Kyle, backed by Kim, proceeds to trade insults with Brandy, who then makes the accusation that Kim's been doing crystal meth in the bathroom the whole night. Who said Maybe it? you don't remember because you've been in the bathroom too many times. Excuse me. Add in the sister's slut-shaming of Brandy, and we have one of the most ridiculous fights ever. And your sister is is wasted She's out of her mind. You, you know watch your step. Watch your mouth. You, you are what? Like Number five, Aviva versus Sonia and Ramona, the Real Housewives of New York City. Aviva, you're missing a point. Don't you yell are. at me. You are well, you are yelling. Don't yell at me. You are, you are yelling. yelling. One major rule of any Housewives show is that girls' trips are sacred. These are people being really disgusting. When a ladies' trip to St. Bart's was planned, Aviva, who is deathly afraid of flying, has her husband accompany on the trip. Bringing a husband along is the ultimate no-no, and Ramona and Sonia take it upon themselves to educate Aviva about her faux pas. Hey, Instead of seeing each other's side, their discussion turns nasty, and Aviva calls the other two women white trash. You're both white trash, quite frankly. Not the best thing to call multimillionaire housewives, or anyone for that matter, but she did, and pretty much isolated herself from the whole group. You were the instigator, Louis. You're always the instigator. What did I instigate? She was trying to make nice, nice. You made a freaking no, comment. No, I'm gonna no, say the word no, freaking no, no, she did. Yeah. Number four, Kyle versus Camille. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. That's Time to play the game. No, that's not who you are, Camille. That's who you are pretending to be. Kyle and Camille had a rocky relationship throughout the season. At one point, Kyle called Camille a liar during a trip to New York over Camille's rumored accusation that Kyle said no one would be interested in watching her without her actor husband, Kelsey Grammer. Camille, if someone says to you, is Kelsey going with you to Hawaii? And you say no, and then you hear, who wants you without Kelsey? Then that's delusional. The bizarre culmination of their drama came at Camille's party with psychic Alison Dubois, the real-life inspiration for the show Medium. As she drank and smoked an e-cigarette, the psychic told Kyle her marriage was on the rocks and that her husband would never emotionally fulfill her. Camille sat on the sideline, pretending not to secretly love all the drama. I don't give a shit what she thinks Allison. about me. She can fuck off. I can, I can tell you when she will die and what will happen to her family. I love that about me. <laughs> Number three, Teresa versus Danielle, the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Show that you have class. Show that you're a classy person. You don't want to go out there. Hold on. Rule one of New Jersey, don't ever ignore Teresa. At a country club event, Danielle proceeds to walk past Teresa, which of course upsets her. It just felt like high school that we were staring each other down all night. Danielle bristles when Teresa calls her honey, which cues Teresa to ask if she prefers the name bitch instead. I don't want to call you honey. Teresa, don't call me Because you are all tagged, so I don't want to call you honey bitch. Is that better? Things take off from there, and Danielle accuses Teresa of having a home in foreclosure. The piece de resistance is when out of nowhere, Ashley, Jacqueline's daughter, takes her shot at Danielle and pulls out a fistful of her hair. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Who do you think you are? Stop it! Who do you Stop think you bitch. are? Leave her alone! Love and light! Leave her alone! No, no. Number two, Kim versus Kyle, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't want you that close to me. Are you kidding me, Kim? Do you realize how insane you sound saying that? Originally, the Richard sisters seemed like a pretty solid duo. But at the end of the first season, things took a turn for the uncomfortable as the two sisters battled in a limo. Do you act like an insane person, okay? I'm so sick of your crap. Everybody is. Everybody's sick of what you put us through. Most of the fight is hard to follow, since an intoxicated Kim seems to come after Kyle out of nowhere. Okay, okay well, you I'm the farthest from that, okay? You need to get help. Kyle doesn't back down and calls out Kim for her inappropriate behavior at Taylor's party. Kim goes for the jugular and accuses Kyle of stealing her deceased mother's home for her. He stole my you goddamn house! house. Listen. Did you hear what you just said, Kim? Oh, are you out of your f***ing mind? Okay. You are so you sick! But the real trump card is when Kyle calls Kim an alcoholic and vows to never give her financial assistance again. You are a liar Stop. Stop. and sick and an alcoholic, Stop. Stop. okay? My, you are an oh alcoholic. Yes, that's oh right. God. That's right. I've said it now and everybody knows. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have no class. Wait a minute, I'm not in my class. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get your hands off of me, bitch. Here you go. This is a letter from my attorney. It's a letter from the sister to see. Go give it to my attorney. No, here's your letter, bitch. Touch me. I'll throw your skinny little ass in the field. Go ahead, throw me. Don't touch me. 
Bitch, my daughter. Okay, right. Oh, 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 bitch. Me. Oh, oh, that hurt you. Hey. Oh, oh my God. I don't want to be a part of this. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, You're crazy. Oh, let like me tell you something, bad. Heather. I the only you. thing. Keep it together, Aviva. The Get only it. thing that is artificial or fake about me. This. Yes. Oh. Number one, Teresa versus Danielle, the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Are you done yet? Give her the opportunity. No, are you done yet? Teresa. No, I'm not done. I just begun. Perhaps one of the all-time best moments in reality TV ever. There was no surprise that Teresa's infamous table flip would be number one. Here I am throwing a dinner party and then she tries to disrespect me in front of my friends. Like most of the season, Danielle and Teresa were trading insults with each other at a party. Danielle told Teresa to pay attention, which got Teresa's blood boiling to heights of unprecedented rage. Prostitution whore! You are f***ing gay 19 times! You f***ing stupid bitch! The moment was unexpected, over the top, and pretty much everything you could ever want in a housewife's fight. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Do you agree with our list? I'm no. not your dog. No. Do no. not do that. No. 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 Which Real Housewives fight made your jaw drop? Is that my hair? Of course it's your hair. For more drama-filled top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. They all attacked her and attempted to attack What's that? It's Amber's hair.